So this is a beautiful and bewitching tale brought to you, or brought to life rather, by Ballet Theater of Carmel Academy. And of course, young dancers, as we see here, from the Be a Fairy program. It's so cool because it comes to Carmel a little bit later this month. So Jane, you are, of course, the artistic director of Ballet Theater of Carmel Academy. And then you brought two dancers with you, Miriam and Gabriel. Thank you both so much for being here. I mean, first of all, costumes. Can we talk about that, Jane? Yes. These are beautiful. Thank you so much. We are a production company in that we offer full-length ballets to the community. Oh, it's also gorgeous. part of their education. Um, this costume is courtesy of Anderson Young Ballet Theater, which oh, is wow. our sister school and um, one of our friends in Anderson. This is a vintage costume that we have inherited from the Carl Kaufman collection. Oh, just so stunning. we're happy to carry on with the legacy. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about this production, the history of the Sleeping Beauty. What makes this fairy tale classic so special for all audiences? Well, I don't know if people know, but The Sleeping Beauty was first performed in 1880. Oh, wow. And like so many full-length ballets, it's been preserved in pretty much its original state with the um, choreography of Marius Petipa. So it's our um, duty as ballet instructors, as retired mm -hmm. dancers, to carry on with the legacy Absolutely. of the ballet. And so they are historians, so to speak, who are and, carrying something on. And this is fantastic because I know, uh, Gabriel, you danced the role of Prince Desiree, it's correct, and then Miriam, the role of Aurora. What has this been like for you? I mean, what, what's your favorite part about this? This is so cool. I feel like the role is extremely technical, so finding ways to connect yeah. through our characters, through the technicality, uh -huh. I feel like really characterizes the ballet. Is there a lot? I mean, there's got to be so much preparation yes. for this. There's a lot of technique in this ballet. It's very clean, so you have to take many hours to train for it. Many hours to train. And speaking of train, you're going to show me a little something I do understand. So what do we have here? So this is an attitude balance. An attitude balance. Oh, my. You'll see it within the pavilion. Nice. Oh, she does it so beautifully, too. Your turn. And I understand. <laughs> it's my turn. Randy, where, where are you at, Randy? You wanted to try something like this, oh, right? Do you want me over there? Oh, yes. Oh, of yes. course. Yeah. Yeah. Randy? Perfect. Oh, nice. Did I even do the right? Yeah, no, that was right. absolutely right. How, how does this look? Oh, that looks pretty good. You yeah. want to try it? Oh, uh, yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. Let me see, Randy. Let me see, let me see what you got. Left leg up. There you go. Left leg up. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Well, he said that he's always wanted to be a part of something like this, I do believe. And speaking of that, can you tell us very quickly, before we toss to performance, tell me about the Academy. Um, the Valley Theater of Carmel Academy it was established in 2018. It's a non-for-profit organization. Yeah. And um, our mission statement is to educate our dancers um, as pre-professional ballet dancers. Well, you've certainly um, done such you. beautiful work, and we Appreciate thank you all so much for being here. We'll have all the details on LifestyleLive.tv, but before we let you go, we're going to see a little something, Jane. What yes. can we expect here? It's a little bit of a spoiler. I hope you are okay with that. I'm okay with Sleeping that. Beauty does have a happy ending, and this is the very, very, very end of the wedding pedida okay. of the Sleeping Beauty right. and her prince. Dancers, take it away. Very nice. Very